Hello everyone, and today is a very special day for me because I'm recording a video about Sublime Text. And as you may know, I'm a, I'm a heavy Sublime Text user. I've been using Sublime Text for the, the last 10 years for PHP and JavaScript development. And today I'm gonna show you how can you make your Sublime Text pretty. So that being said, let's just get started. Of course, the first thing you have to do is really download Sublime Text uh, from the website and once you do that and install sublime text in your machine the default will pretty much look like this okay so obviously i have here um this lot of application open and this is a default theme that comes with sublime text and i have opened the preferences tab and if you don't have that open the only thing you have to do is really just type preferences settings and once you do that you will see that you will have two tabs opened the first one on the left we don't care too much it's pretty much the default settings and the one are the settings that you override okay so we are be we will be working with this tab right here because we really want to customize this a little bit to make sublime text pretty and the first thing we need to do really is just increase the font size because it's just too small for me so let's just give i don't know maybe a 25 of, of font size uh, or even 30 but let's go with 25 for now to really increase a little bit the font so we can uh, see what's happening here the second thing we are going to do is really choose a different font uh, again for the last video, I've used uh, JetBrains Mono. I think a JetBrain, JetBrains Mono is a very good font for everything, really. It's a free font and gives you nice reading uh, on the terminal, but also on the Sublime Text uh, as well. Um, now, the third thing we are going to do, it's not really theme focused, but it's something that I really like to have, is this thing called it uh, Save on Focus Lost. So, as you may know, like, uh, when working with something like PHP Storm or VS Code, even I think uh, when you change focus, like changing uh, from a different to a different uh, file, for example, you have your content automatically saved. So this is exactly what this setting is about. So every time, for example, I do something like this, you can see that this tab is not being saved. However, if I click on this different tab on the left, this got automatically saved. So it's very important setting that you want to do that if you don't want to lose uh, any work uh, whatsoever, okay? Next, I wanna add a setting here to highlight the current line. It's something that I, I, I really like to use is this setting called it highlight line through. So what it does is that once I save it, you can see that now I can jump between lines and I get this really light, really nice highlight on top of the line I am working on. Now, something I also like to do, it's kind of, I don't know, I feel it's optional, is change the caret. So here, for example, I have this very nice caret that comes by default, but if I do this, you can see that now I get this very nice fade away in, fade, fade out, which gives a little bit more uh, style into this, okay? Uh, next, we want to work with padding. Now, of course, <clears throat> here we have zero padding or nothing at all. And you know that me and Taylor and pretty much all the entire Laravel team likes to give space to breathe to the code. So I'm going with 15 of padding top, but also tap uh, padding bottom. So you can really see what's happening here on the code and uh, it allows you to really focus on the piece of code that you are working on. I'm a big fan of paddings on the top, but also on the bottom. Now, <clears throat> something you want to do is really start working with colors and changing a little bit how uh, your sublime tags um, look like. And something we are going to do is choose the theme that comes by default for the tabs and for the top menu. And we are going to type uh, select theme, so UI select theme, and we are going to select the first theme, which is adaptive. And you can see that adaptive theme already changes a little bit the menus, but also um, uh, this top section a little bit. It doesn't change the middle uh, yet, but we are going to choose a different theme for that. So the, the overall theme is adaptive, but we are going to choose a different color schema, which is one of my favorites, which is the um, Aura theme. So you go to Google, you pretty much search for this theme, call it Aura theme. This is a set of colors that I love uh, in general, 
even not on, not only on Sublime Text, but for Sublime Text as well. So you click on Sublime Text and you will see that this redirects you to a different section of this repo and you get the installation options just uh, on the readme of this link. Now, the installation is not really straightforward, but something you have to do is really click on this link right here on the first position this will give you the entire set of colors and you want to do is really click on raw and just save this page um, in your desktop for example now as specified here uh, on the installation process which which i forgot to mention uh, they ask you to save this theme on this folder call it our theme color scheme so let's just do that so i'm going to click here click on raw and then save page as and I'm going to create this folder with our theme color scheme and I'm going to save it, um, this theme right in, in this folder okay once I do this I can uh, get back into my sublime text and I'm going to search for this thing call it bronze packages this will open the folder that contains all the packages of my sublime text and I'm going to now drag the folder that I just created into this folder of packages and once i do this typically what i do expect is that i can now search for theme once again and instead of selecting the theme from my ui i'm going to select the theme for the my color scheme and now if i search for aura hopefully i get to see this aura theme which makes my sublime text way more sexy in my opinion okay now, um, that being said, you want to set a couple of different options as well. Um, obviously, this is will be tailored for your language or even for your uh, for your um, for the system you are using. But uh, some stuff you might want to do is uh, this option right here, which is translate tabs to spaces. Or I don't know of any language that uses tabs, but of course, I use spaces for for pretty much everything uh some of the options that i also like is this thing call it um trim white space on save to pretty much every time i have some uh, empty spaces at the end if i save it i lose that empty spaces at the end but also i like to have this option word wrap as well so that being said this is the final result which i think is really cool um, so um, this is the theme that I use for my sublime text I find it very very good in terms of spacing in terms of colors in terms of feeling um, I also have a white theme I know that a lot of people are not fan of those white themes but in general this is a theme that I use I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you all next time